In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the Aegis test, also called weight-bearing McMurray test. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Many orthopedic tests for meniscus tears are performed in non-weight-bearing positions, whereas most of the symptoms of a torn meniscus occur during weight-bearing activities. The Aegis test tries to overcome this shortcoming by mimicking the McMurray test in a weight-bearing position. Due to its provocative nature, it is not suitable for patients in a very acute stage after injury as they have to be able to bear weight and squat without pain and limitations in range of motion. A study done by Akseki et al. in the year 2004 evaluated the Aegis test. They found a sensitivity for lateral and medial meniscus tears of 64 and 67 percent and a specificity of 90 and 81 percent respectively. In this single but well-conducted study, the test performed better than the McMurray's test and joint line tenderness, but findings yet have to be confirmed. We therefore give this test a moderate clinical value in practice. To perform the Aegis test, the patient is standing with fully extended knees and both feet 30 to 40 centimeters apart. To detect a medial meniscal tear, the patient is asked to squat with both legs in maximal external rotation and then slowly stand up. The distance between the knees increases and each knee becomes externally rotated as the squatting proceeds. For lateral meniscal tears, both lower extremities are held in maximum internal rotation while the patient squats and stands up. A full squat in internal rotation is almost impossible even in healthy individuals, so a slightly less than full squat is required in internal rotation and the patient is allowed to use an object nearby as a support. In contrast to the medial meniscus test, the distance between the knees decreases and each knee becomes internally rotated as the squatting proceeds. This test is positive when pain and or a click, which is sometimes audible by the examiner, is felt by the patient at the related side of the joint line. Further squatting is stopped as soon as the pain and or click is felt. If the patient experiences pain while moving out of the squat, the test is scored positive as well. The authors mention that pain is usually felt around 90 degrees of flexion. Anteriorly located tears produce the symptoms in earlier knee flexion, whereas tears on the posterior horn produce symptoms in more knee flexion. While accuracy was decreased in patients with degenerative arthritis and patellofemoral disease, interestingly, the test was even more accurate in ACL deficient knees and in knees with a fusion. All right, this was our video on the Aegis test. If you want to learn how to conduct the McMurray's test, click on the video right next to me. If you are interested in more content from us, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or on our website, physiotutors.com. This was Kai for Physiotutors. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.